After college and before the start of his NBA career, Michael Jordan played for Team USA in the 1984 Summer Olympic Games. As a promotion for Team USA's basketball team, Jordan participated in a photo shoot for Life magazine. The picture that made it into the 1984 Olympic special issue of the magazine was shot by photographer Co. Rent Meester and featured the young Michael Jordan wearing New Balance basketball shoes and a Team USA tracksuit. In the picture, he is dunking a basketball with his legs spread apart in the air. Within a few months of the photo shoot, Jordan signed a deal with Nike to be one of their featured athletes. And I told Roth that if he really wanted to sign Michael, he had to treat him like a tennis player and create a brand around him of shoes and clothing. So Strasser said to me, we might consider giving him his own line of shoes and clothes. What do you want to call the line? I looked at him like he was brain dead and I said, what do I want to call a line? I want to call it Michael Jordan. And he felt that Michael had no credibility as a 21 year old basketball player to suggest that he was a designer of his own line. He said, look, we may be willing to do it, but you have to come up with a name and it cannot be Michael Jordan. I literally wanted to strangle him there. I mean, I was so frustrated. He literally came to me in probably less than a minute. And I said, okay, we're going to call it Air Jordan. And he said, why? I said, Air, because Nike has just developed these new running shoes that have an air technology that's supposed to cushion your feet. And it's a double entendre in the way Michael plays basketball in the air. In 1985, Nike released his first shoe, the Nike Air Jordan 1s. To promote his new shoe, Nike recreated the original photo, but this time, MJ was wearing his signature shoes and had the Chicago skyline in the background of the photo. Later, in a 1997 interview, Jordan recalled, I wasn't even dunking on that one. People think I was. I just stood on the floor, jumped up, and spread my legs, and they took the picture. I wasn't even running. Everyone thought I did that by running and taking off. Actually, it was a ballet move where I jumped and spread my legs, and I was holding the ball in my left hand. The original Jordan 1s were sold with a hang tag that had the photo on it. Peter Moore, the designer of the shoe, even wanted to use the original New Balance photo, but couldn't because of the copyright issues. Just like the Jordan 1s, the Air Jordan 2s did not have the Jumpman logo on them, but instead had the signature Wings logo. Peter Moore took out a sketch pad in five minutes, designed the very first Air Jordan logo, which was the basketball with the general's wings on it, and the rest is history. In 1987, the Jordan 3s were released, designed by Tinker Hatfield, and featured a silhouette of the 1985 photograph on the shoe's tongue. Since then, the logo has not been changed and represents everything Jordan brand. As basketball and shoe culture gain more popularity through the years, the Jordan brand and its iconic logo has become a mainstay in athletic and lifestyle apparel. And that is the story behind the Jordan brand logos. Thank you for watching guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And check out one of these two videos on screen here. And comment down below what you think about the Last Dance Michael Jordan documentary so far.